A cruise ship vacation for a lot of people is the ultimate getaway and it's understandable as to why. You get to disappear from the world and forget about all of its problems, whether it's your bills, your routinely commute to work, or your annoying boss that's always in a bad mood for some reason. However, while it is exciting to go off the grid for a week or two, there are things you absolutely should not do regardless if you're on vacation or not. I get it, when taking a cruise, it's easy just to leave your brain in the car prior to boarding the ship and switching to autopilot because you're understandably in vacation mode. However, as somebody that's worked on board cruise ships, unfortunately, I've seen a lot of careless and at times disrespectful things on board cruise ships that should be common sense. But you know what they say, common sense isn't common. That's why in today's video, I'm going to tell you five things that you should stop doing on board cruise ships right now. Well, not right now, because obviously most people aren't on board cruise ships. But you know what I mean. Just keep in mind that this is a YouTube video, meaning this is more so for entertainment purposes only. So don't get offended so easily, especially if this stuff doesn't even apply to you. However, if it does, then uh, you got some changes to make. Sailing right into it, the first thing cruise ship passengers should stop doing right now is wasting food at the buffets. You know when we talk about cruising, we always got to mention the buffets. We've all probably seen it at one point or another, be it at a cruise ship buffet or even at a buffet on land like the Golden Corral. Those people that pile their plates with food taller than Mount Everest? Look guys, trust me, I understand. It's an exciting time, there's a lot of options, there's food everywhere, you don't wanna make multiple trips. However, what if I told you that if you wanted more food, you don't have to pile your plate up, you can just simply go back over to the buffet because the food will still be there and grab some more. Now to be clear, I'm not knocking anybody from going over to the buffet and grabbing a ton of food. Don't let my size fool you, I can hold it down. If you wanna go over there and grab 10 slices of pizza and waterfall the ice cream machine on your way back to the table, go ahead and do it. No, I'm joking. Do not waterfall the ice cream machine. We've already talked about that in another video. But my point here is very simple. Grab what you're going to eat. I don't know how many times I've seen people grab a plate that's piled high and then they realize there's other options they want like steak or it's seafood night and they want crab legs and they just go ahead and leave all the food that they were eating because they don't want it anymore at the table. Stop doing that. Number two might catch you off guard. Please stop feeling bad for the crew members. I wanna talk about this one because it's notoriously believed throughout the entire cruise ship industry that the cruise ship employees or crew members partake in slave labor, and in return, they receive pennies. I will admit that the majority of the crew members on board cruise ships do work a lot. <laughs> a lot and let's be fair they could also be paid a little bit better in some instances however i gotta be honest with you this is just kind of the name of the game because these crew members technically are not employees they're contractors meaning they have to kind of abide by whatever contract they actually sign up for now when it comes to the money that is a complicated and touchy subject to talk about i did make a full dedicated video about two years ago it was like one of my first videos that i made and it's awful i actually got to redo it and i will at some point but to make things real simple for you i know people hear rumors that crew members are getting paid 500 dollars a month or maybe even a thousand dollars a month now obviously to somebody in a developed country like the united states or the uk that is not a lot of money but you gotta understand that on board cruise ships, there's people literally from all over the world. And let's say if they're sailing in US waters and they're getting paid USD, $1,000 USD transferred to somebody from India where they're getting rupees is going to be a lot more money. So this is kind of how it works. Also, when it comes to jobs on board cruise ships, you are eligible to receive tips in a lot of circumstances. So imagine if you're getting paid USD, you are definitely racking up some money for some people, not all. I had a friend back when I was working for NCL. Her nickname was Leslie Chow, you know, like from the hangover so she was from the philippines and she worked in the spa on board the ship she told me that she made so much money while working on board that she owns four houses back home in the philippines now i'm not gonna lie to you just like leslie child this girl was wild that was more so why she got her name not really much for the money and i'm not gonna lie to you she gave a mean massage i went to her all the time but my point to all this is it's not necessarily just about how much money people are making on board cruise ships because just like back over on land it's about the position or job that you might have have, as well as your money saving skills while you're on board. Number three, stop being loud in your staterooms. I'll keep this one simple. A cruise ship stateroom or even a suite is similar to that of a hotel back on land. In some cases, it's even similar to a cheap hotel like a Motel 6, meaning the walls are thin and we can hear literally everything. Nobody wants to hear you bed wrestling with that weird couple that you met an hour ago at the piano bar. And we definitely don't want to hear you arguing with your spouse about whether you should go see Kinky Boots or the comedy show tomorrow. Just go see Kinky Boots because honestly, 9 times out of 10, the comedy show on board the ship is not really that good. And Kinky Boots has an amazing production. And oh yeah, by the way, when you're leaving your stateroom, please 
just stop letting the door slam on your way out. The fourth thing that cruise ship passengers should stop doing is letting their kids run wild. I think we all can agree that some cruise lines are better suited for kids and families than others, but one thing we all should universally understand is that no cruise ship, regardless of how safe or kid friendly it is, should be used for a giant play area. Youth counselors, arcades, and kid zones are there for a reason. It's to keep the cruise ship from becoming a giant episode of the Rugrats. Now I'm not saying you gotta put your kid on one of those weird dog leash things. Please don't do that. I'm just saying keep track of your kids while you're on your vacation. Because even though you're on a cruise ship, there are still weird and creepy people out there. Now since you've almost survived another episode of The Ship Life, make sure you sail over to that like button and of course subscribe, that way you can get notified whenever I post more content like this. Now let's sail over to number 5. The fifth thing that cruise ship passengers should stop doing right now is being entitled. Look, nobody cares if you book the Haven Suite, the Royal Suite, or any luxury suite or stateroom for that matter. Even if it may at times come with its own waiter, which I'm not gonna lie, could be pretty cool. Could you imagine ordering your own Oreo cheesecake at 3 a.m.? I mean, that would be amazing. But, but my point is here, nobody is more special than the other. We're all on the same cruise together. If you've been on a cruise ship, then you've seen the people that think they're the kings and queens of the seven seas. One time when I was working on board the cruise ship, I once saw a lady skip the line over at guest services just to go over there and complain about there being no good seats available for the choir of man when she was 20 minutes late. In a nutshell, it is of course understandable that you're going to be a little bit more relaxed than you usually are because you're on vacation. However, that does not mean you stop being a decent human being. Anyway, that's all we got for today's episode. Let me know what you think about all this. Do you think I'm right? Do you think I'm wrong about any of this? Are you one of those people? Let me know in the comment section below. On your way out guys, all I ask is that you guys hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, that way you can get notified when I post more crazy videos like this, and also be sure to check out our amazing merch. We got a bunch of cool items that you guys are going to absolutely love, and when cruising starts back up, you want to look cool. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you out and about.